Um, yeah, it was uh, definitely just the moment in the game. We were obviously needed the goal, so we were kind of throwing throwing numbers forward, and you know I just took a chance with a run in the box. Um, but you know, for for most of this season, I've had you know various jobs on the set plays. You know, sometimes I'm having to block someone. Sometimes I'm you know helping with the short corner. So it it kind of varies a lot. Um, but in this moment, I was you know lucky to be in the box. Michael. Hey James, Mike Ander from Blue City Radio. Thanks for the time. Uh, I'm going to ask you the same question, question I asked Nick. Uh, sometimes uh, it's simpler to, or easy to say that the team's identity is what their record is. So I'm curious, based on uh, your perspective of the record this season, what you would consider NYCSC's identity? Um, I would say our record shows that um, you know at our best we can you know, beat anybody and play with anybody. And I think we've shown that in the games this year against Miami, um, you know, we've tied them twice. I think we've played Columbus incredibly close, uh, you know, the three times we've played them and they've kind of set the bar in the league. Um, so I would say our, our record shows that a little bit, but on the flip side, it also shows a bit of inconsistency. And, you know, I think we've dropped points in, in a few games where we definitely should have. So. Um, I think probably probably both sides of that are, are true about this team at the moment. Matt? Hey James, Matt Mangum, Hudson River Blue. Of course, your goal was just, you know, stolen a late point for you guys, and now going to Red Bulls this Saturday. Having swept them since, tw uh, since 2022, so just, you know, how did that result against Miami and your goal kind of give you guys momentum and, you know, motivation for this game this weekend? Yeah, I, I think you know, first and foremost, it gives us a chance this weekend to, to pass them. Um, getting that point means that, you know, with a win on Saturday, we would we would jump them. Um, so I think that's a big deal. And, you know, a, a goal for a while now for this team has been to get that fourth, um, you know, finish in fourth and have that home playoff game. Um, so I think, you know, for all those reasons, this is a massive game for us. And, you know, I, I know it's one that means a lot to to our club and our, our fans. So we definitely uh, understand the importance of it. Christian? Hi, James. Congrats on the goal of the weekend. Um, I know your brother Will played on the left a lot, left back in the wing. I'm curious, is that something you and him practice a lot as kids, the cross in, the James Sands header? Is it something <laughs> that felt familiar? <laughs> um, no, not, not, not so much. Um, I, I would say we did a lot of other things, but... Uh, him serving corners to me was, was not something he really enjoyed so much. So I, I would say probably not. You have another one, Christian? Sure. Um, as you touched on there, James, as well, this is a, a big pressure game. It's two teams that both want to win. You can't necessarily win these games in the first five minutes, but how, we, how important is that platform of the first pass and the first tackle in these derby games? Uh, yeah, you know, I. I think you said it, you, you can't win the game in the first five minutes, but you definitely can set the tone. And I've seen a lot of these games in the past where it's, it's the first tackle that, um, you know, really dictates how, how the game is going to go. And, you know, credit to them, they do a very good job of, of being physical and, and trying to set that tone early. So it's on us to, to make sure we match that and, you know, make sure we give ourselves the opportunity for our quality to, to shine through. Oliver? Hi, thank you. Oliver Strand, Hudson River Blue. Um, so this is the Hudson River Derby, um, and it's true that there's a lot on the line in terms of placement on the table, um, but to go and play uh, the rival Red Bulls, a team that has really kind of owned New York City unlike any other team, the head-to-head -head is very much in their favor, and they've pulled out some pretty incredible wins. Um, is there any extra hunger because of the team, because of the rivalry, because they're the Red New York team, or are you keeping it professional? Um, I mean, there's obviously, a, you know, it's a big rivalry just because they're the other New York team. I, I think when you talk about the record, um, I think they won a lot of games early on, but 
99% of our team at this minute was not even there for those games. So it's, it's not something we really think about too much. And, you know, we know the best way for us to get a result is to have the, you know, perform in the right way. And, you know, that takes a, a professional approach and a, a mature approach. So I don't think we really too focus too much on, on the past or, or the history of this, but we, we do understand its importance for, for us and, and for the club. Great. Thank you, everybody. Recording stopped. Awesome. Good. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it.